Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Scalabro Country, the virus edition, a.k.a. the Pandy Pods. A.k.a. Two Jews, No Harm in Killabrews. A.k.a. Two Jews, No Rod Cruz. A.k.a. Tiger King was an early fling, but we've been spending the whole Pandy right here with Jason and Randy. That is James Scragman. Scraggers. And Scraggers, love you, buddy. And anybody who's contributed to the AKAs, you've been so great. And this community has been so great. Old Zealand. Old Zealand, Sarah, Sarah Dunn, Dunn, TJ Lancaster, Derek Lipkin, all you Charlie guys, Shulman, all you guys love it so much. I love that you've been a part of this thing. Elise. And we've been trying to sort of brace you as we start to figure out what is the next step for us. Because I think- we, and, have, and, we have like four reasons why we're gonna bring this podcast to a close, the daily, and then we'll have something new on the other side of it, which, right. is so, be which we're excited about. So. We believe that, you know, when we started this... And we didn't know how long it was going to go. Jason Smith, may he rest in peace. A big reason why we started this, he ran Starburn, said, I want you guys to do a daily podcast during the pandemic. It's something you should be doing. We didn't think we could do it. We didn't know how long we'd do it. We'd like, what, a couple weeks, a month, two months? It's been a year and three months mm -hmm. now that we've done this, which is really quite astonishing to yeah. us that yeah. like we've been able to manage this the entire time through holidays through uh our mom's heart surgery we've managed to bring content every single day for having year to do months. with the pandemic for a year and three months so right now as we enter into this summer and the we sort of reach herd immunity people are I think feeling like they're done with the pandemic. A lot of people's brains are past the pandemic. They want to move on back to normal life. Whether we have or not, the, we are moving on. Traffic is back. Things are back where people are, we're doing stand up inside. The world is coming back and I think there is a real desire to want to look forward. And so as a result, we feel like this pandemic is coming to a close. So these pandemic episodes should come to a close too. We never were going to do this forever. And this is a great time to do it. Secondly, uh, or thirdly, really, yeah, we have noticed that some of the stories in that same vein that we're doing are stories that are popping up on Dumb People Town as well, and we don't want to have covered them here and then have them show up again on Dumb People Town. It's for not fair to the fans who love when our genuine reaction to them on Dumb People Town is real because we've done them already here. And we feel like, again, with a lack of pandemic stories because we're coming out of the pandemic, it's causing us to double to, up to on To feed those. the daily podcast with some stuff that crosses over. And so, we don't want to do that to Dan. We don't want to do that to the Dumb People Town townies. And we just don't want to do that to ourselves because we love, again, the, the newness of it. Finally... Uh, we've been going through a lot of health stuff in our lives. Um, to be 100% honest, our mom just broke her ankle. She got through heart surgery and just broke her ankle. So now that is a huge, uh, huge thing that's going to throughout the entire summer and beyond that we're going to have to figure out. Lots of things with that. Jay's wife just had a double mastectomy. And uh, she, we're dealing with the, the treatment, treatment of that moving forward. So those things have taken a much larger role in our lives and we cannot turn away from them and ignore them. So prepping for this show on a regular basis is now has to take a backseat to the stuff that we're dealing with in our families. And we know you guys understand and we know you've enjoyed this whole thing. So what we have, what we're deciding to do is starting in the month of July, and this is something we've wanted to do for a long time. So we feel like this is a good break and move forward. Good point to start it. Right. We're going to start our own Sklar Brothers Patreon, where for $5 a month, you can join and we'll be doing some version of this show weekly. Once a week. Once a week. That we're, will only go to the Patreon. We are going to try and do a new Cheap Seats episode on material that we find and try and figure out the way to- Not view from the Cheap Seats. Like cheap seats, seats. Us making jokes over sporting footage uh, for you guys. We're going to try and deliver that for you guys. Only one, available on only Patreon. Only available on Patreon once a month. And then- in our interviews on View from the Cheap Seats, we're going to try and maybe, like we do on Dumb People Town, give a little extra content only for our Patreon fans. We're also looking for other ways to get Patreon fans uh, extra content through, you know, maybe live sporting events, having our own Slack chat, 
place uh, for us to make jokes and riff on major sports. That only events. you guys can see. So we will set that up. And before we end all these next week, we don't want to make it crazy expensive because we know we've been giving you this show for free for so long. And so we, we would like to give you stuff that you can't get anywhere else. Uh, cheap seats being the main thing, but also give you some other stuff too. Five bucks a month. It's a cup of coffee. And uh, if it'd be a huge, we'd want as many of you guys that could come over to support it as possible. Uh, we love it. Love to have you there. I'd love to be doing that content for you. That's going to start in July. And with that, let's get into this story, shall let's we, right do it. now? Let's do it, because we have a few more of these that we want to do. And as Jews, let's talk about it. You talk about five bucks a month, let's talk about Jews. Okay. Uh, we've had a bumpy go over the last few years. Let's just say that, okay? Here in America, in the Middle East. I can't even get into the Israel thing, because it's such a complicated thing, and our own feelings about it are super suffice complicated. Suffice to say that it is okay and possible for us to condemn, be ashamed of, and be upset with the country of Israel that we love and support. And we feel that way, and there can't are a lot of- can't even call it the country of Israel, because part of the country of Israel, like the opposition government, is trying to form a coalition to get rid of Benjamin Netanyahu. So it's not so, everybody in Israel, they're feeling the same way that we do. It's a complicated situation. There are elements of Israeli society that we are angry with, and there are elements of Israel that we feel very close to having had a long history, personal history with it. It's so hard. But it's ever difficult. since the tiki torches here where they're, you know, in Charlottesville where people are chanting Jews won't replace us, the guy in the camp Auschwitz sweatshirt in the capital, in the capital, yeah. just the, the underpinnings of anti-Semitism in the white supremacy rhetoric is basically fueling the Republican well, base right Well, it used to be under the surface, and now it is up on the surface. It's everywhere, and it's evident in this story. Let's get into By it. By the way, who knew that a Nashville hat store would be the place where a buttload of anti-Semitism would come out? Uh, I could have predicted it. That's where we found. A Nashville hat store is facing a backlash after announcing on social media that it was selling yellow patches similar to the Star of David with the words not vaccinated, sparking a widespread condemnation, a protest, and severed business ties. Yeah. Just piggybacking off of what Marjorie Taylor Greene said, comparing wearing masks being to being sent off to concentration, concentration camps, camps yeah. being randomly killed. That's, that's a pretty equal... It's not a false, false equivalency no, there at all. No, not at all. Vaccinated Jewish stars. What a great idea. Truthfully... Uh, why didn't they make it look like the I voted stickers? How about that? You could have done that. And it says, I didn't get vaxxed. Right. Not vaxxed. If you'd use the same, we'll make some patches for these guys. Hey, you can, can have that you one. Out, man. We'll do it. Just patches that say, don't feel bad for me uh, if my stupidity kills me. Just a little patch like That's that. That's a more apt patch for these idiots to wear. That feels more appropriate. My unwillingness and selfishness could cost a life. Yeah. There patch. you go. Put, Put that on a patch. That's a great patch. Yes. We do in the shape of a swastika. Would How about that? Work? That? that feels I feel more like you guys, in line. you guys aligned yourself with the wrong side. You can't align yourself with the Jews. You got to align yourself with the Nazis. Iconic hat company Stetson. And I've got two Stetsons. People who've seen me do the live yeah. Dumb People Town Show. You know They're I not going to sell their hats anymore at Hatworks, W R K S. Yeah, the company at the center of this controversy, Gorin Brothers, another prominent hat company. They're not going to sell their hats at Hatworks, Hat W R K S. Yeah, when a company that's much more ingrained in American society, like Stetson in the cowboy fabric, mm -hmm. says, they, they say your stupid store, which spells the word works incorrectly, they condemn your actions, then it's bad. Yeah. You have to admit that you screwed up. And what do you gain by misspelling the word works, by the way? It makes you look as stupid as you are. That's really what it Did does. Did you think it people, outs you as a stupid people would drive by your store and see it spelled correctly and say, that's not the hat shop that I, I can trust. I don't know trust. if I could trust this hat shop. They spelled no out works. No spelling errors there. I need a hat shop that can't spell the word works properly. It's not like they're... Like they're limited to the number of kids. It's not a vanity license. It's plate. one letter less works. Did you save money? That's my question. Is, Is that, that why you did it? You don't want to be associated with those penny pinching Jews now, do you? Hat W A R K W R K S. Stetson condemns anti Semitism and discrimination of any kind, the company said in a statement. As a result of the offensive content and opinion shared by Hat Works, I bet Stetson was like, I can't believe we got it. You're going to make us. We got to step out. You're going to make, make us misspell works. Who's going to go buying hats from you now that you don't sell the best hat works? Hey, anybody want to buy a hat from an anti-Semitic store who can't sell top brands and they don't know how to spell their own name? Anybody? Mm -hmm. No. The incident, which came uh, after a Republican congresswoman compared the House mask rules to Nazis' oppression of the Jews, is the latest flare-up over the vaccines in the United States and follows a recent spate of anti-Jewish attacks connected with the conflict between Israel and Hamas. You know that whole thing. Yes, of course. So, wait. So, you know what you did was wrong, by the way, okay? 
And that's why they took it down. They stopped doing it, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. you knew what you were doing is wrong. Maybe, right. maybe you should change the spelling of your dumb store while you're at it. How about If you're that? making wholesale changes. This is a perfect chance to reboot, reset. I'm, sh- I'm sure you knew you were fucking that up too, Hatworks. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you couldn't even stand by your anti-Semitic stunt, could you? You no. didn't have the guts. You didn't have the guts to go full MTG, did mm-hmm. you? You no. didn't. So you no. deleted it like the cowards that you are, Hatworks. The K- C-O-W-R-D-S that mm-hmm. you are, mm-hmm. right? Right? Mm-hmm. Another Min Jin Lee called the badges immoral and hateful. Yeah. So you're getting people who aren't even Jews saying it's anti-Semitic Stop. gesture right. in a time of rising anti-Semitism. She wrote on Twitter, our chronic ignorance of history, science and law allows Americans to continuously harm ourselves and others. That's a great tweet. Yep. Solid. Yeah. It's not only Jews that are up in arms. I want to hear what this. they had to say about it. I want to hear what the the person who owns Hatworks had to say about. This. Do you want to hear that? Yeah. Gigi Gaskins, who's yes. listed listed as Hatworks owner in the public records, she apologized finally on mm-hmm. Instagram for finally. the merchandise resembling badges for the Nazis, it, like that so, they forced Jews to wear during, during the Holocaust. Holocaust. Well, you know this is going to be, and I'm sorry if some of you got offended. Sorry, you apology. couldn't handle our little thing. In no way, all caps, did I intend to trivialize the Star of David or disrespect what happened to millions of people. People. Really? You did. You kind of did. You did. My yeah. hope was to share genuine concern and fear and to do all that I can to help make sure nothing like that ever happens again. So this was a... This is just you showing genuine fear. And concern. Yeah. Your fear that unvaccinated people will be rounded up and taken to death camps? Is that what you're... Thank fear God, is, I mean, thank God you put the stars out so yeah. that we know that that's not going to happen. That's not happening. You, you prevented it, so thank you. You thank should you. be fearful that you catch a deadly disease and die on a ventilator. That's of your own doing, lady. Yeah. And you should have yourself to blame for that one. Yes. We'll all get vaccinated. Thank, Thank you. you. And you'll be at high risk yep. if you want. Yep. You've been given your chance to get vaccinated, but mm-hmm. you wouldn't do it. Mm-hmm. And in many states, a shot to win millions of dollars just by doing it, right? You You're stubborn, a stubborn, stupid Idiot. Previously, Gaskin said that people should be outraged by tyranny in the world and blamed her uh, detractors for not understanding what's happening around them. In another post, she alluded to concerns about coronavirus restrictions and stated that she is a target of the mob. The funny thing is, if she promoted uh, everyone getting the vaccine or allowed the store to be a vaccine site, I bet she would have sold more hats. Definitely would have sold if more hats. If you leaned into the vaccine, about, by the way, you're in Nashville. You're not in Huntsville, Alabama. You're, you're in a very progressive. progressive city where I bet a lot of people would just jump on board with your brand. Like, make the business decision, dummy. Why Why? Why would you stand up and, and hurt your own business? If it's all about business, let's take a break. and We'll come back. We'll talk more about this on the other side. Set. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Uh, and again, we will hope that you guys will join us on the Patreon. We'll set that up next uh, week. Mm-hmm. So you guys can join that if you want, uh, beginning of July. And uh, we'll give you that uh, new content, which I'm very excited to bring to you, specifically the cheap seats. We've never really done this, and yes. it's going to be a lot of work as we start to figure out what this is, but I'm excited to do that for you. Hell yes. So when we left, there was a racist, anti-Semitic, I don't know if they're racist, but they're anti-Semitic uh, hat store made mm-hmm. some in, in Nashville. Hatworks, they can't spell their name correctly. The company's Instagram feed shows several posts expressing hostility and misinformation. Mm-hmm. If you're a hat store, you Just, should be dealing in good information. Yeah. Right? Like, does this hat work? Whatever you tell me, I don't know if I'm going to believe. Right. Is this the hat for me? I can't trust you because no. you're giving out misinformation. You're lying in other areas. Where I, I don't even Com- tell the truth com- about my hat. Comparing wearing masks to government suppression of citizens, more than a dozen posts were marked by Instagram as false since November. So if you're a hat store and and your posts are false. I see a pattern here. You a hat liar. Any Stetson or Gorn Brothers hats in your store? No, no that that anymore. that sucks. Two brands that a lot of people love. The controversy oh. over the Star of David happens after Marjorie Taylor Greene. She was awful. Kevin McCarthy and other Republicans condemn Greene like ten days afterwards, or five days five days afterwards. It took mm-hmm. them five days to condemn these things. Marjorie is wrong, and her intentional decision to compare the horrors of the Holocaust to wearing masks is appalling. That's Kevin McCarthy. If he's saying that. Kevin, well, well, McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy's saying that because he knows that like the Jews who contribute to the Republican yeah, Party yeah. are going, to, are, they got mad at them. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, hey, we're a part of your base. Yeah. So you got it. You got to figure this out. The Holocaust, the Holocaust is the greatest atrocity committed in history. The fact that this needs to be stated today is deeply troubling. That's what McCarthy says. Yeah. I would add that the fact that you have to reprimand a member of your own party for saying that is deeply, is even deeper. 
Yeah, in you, terms should, of you should get to wear a gold star for condemning her, finally. There you go. We'll get you a gold star for condemning How her. How about that? You idiot. All of you are idiots. And by the way, for this hat store, you're done, Hatworks. You don't get, you're done. All This isn't just one post where one person screwed up. This is a pattern. This is a history. And I'm sure there's some other way better hat stores in Nashville. And to everyone who's in Nashville and looking for a hat, go somewhere else. Because hat works, don't works. Mm -mm. All right, that is the show, guys. Stay connected, stay protected, don't get infected. This is not a hoax. We got the jokes. Get vaccinated, y'all. We'll see you on Monday. La-ti-da. La-ti-da-ti-da-ti-da. La-ti-da.